Hello my beautiful and valuable friends and welcome to this channel. I'm Tetevik and today we will be discussing how to become more masculine. I have also created one more video regarding this subject so if you would like watch that as well because it contains a lot of information relevant to this but I also need to tell you that these videos are completely uh, can be watched separately so you don't have to watch one to understand another one I have created them, them on purposely this way so you can be independent can watch one video get the recharging energy and move on or if you want you can always see another part another related videos. I also make different videos for both genders, both women and men for any age because I think it's important to take care of the society in total. I would love to focus on men more and sometimes I would love to focus more on women but I always shift my focus so both get my love and my attention. If you ever would like to have one-to-one -one consultation with me, can contact me below and we will schedule time. But that will be private. It will be tailored towards your own issues, towards your own questions, towards your own skill real realization. So that's very private and it is only personal consultation. And now let's get ready if you need a, a moment to take your tea or make yourself more comfortable go for this and this video is not only for you my dear men it's also for your women or for women in general so they know how the real masculine women and men look like or how they behave you know or how who they are I want to tell you that every time when a man is becoming more masculine then a woman has a chance to become more feminine whenever a woman can be more feminine then a man has a chance to become more masculine that's a circle and why I'm telling you this because we influence each other so let's help each other out if you're a woman please remain as feminine as you can if you are a man please become as masculine as you can I personally adore masculine men I always you know welcome them to be like they are because then they allow me to be free and remain feminine so let's dive in I have three key words for you to remember today and they will all describe and help you to understand how to become more masculine it's just three words number one word that I want you to remember is gentleman number two I want you to remember the word confidence and number three, I want you to remem remember a word commander, ultimate commander. So now we have three words, gentleman, confident or confidence and commander, ultimate commander. These three words will describe and I will go in depth of each of them, not to worry, everything is prepared for you. These three words actually describe what masculinity is and how to be masculine if you want to understand you need to look into these three words let's look at each of the words separately to become more masculine you need to become a gentleman you will say but how masculinity is something strong it's something powerful something dominant and gentleman is a gentleman somebody soft somebody polite kind but not really if you look at all the heroes you know who are very dominant very strong physically and mentally and they are conquering the world I understand they're superheroes but yet if you look at them they're all gentlemen look how they treat women look how they treat uh, the world look how they behave they're very gentle and settled they're strong dominant when it's needed but in the same time they're gentlemen you know none of them is arrogant none of the heroes or if you look at the uh, large you know uh, corporation presidents or CEOs none of them is weak they're all gentlemen but yet they're very masculine they're very dominant they're very straightforward they're very motivated they're extremely driven within inside so number one to become more masculine you need to become a gentleman you need to understand what gentleman is a gentleman is somebody who has manners gentleman knows the etiquette gentleman knows that he needs to be polite not because it's expected but because that's his nature gentleman is a gentle man a kind man a soft man when is needed but firm when is needed he knows that he is not too polite and he's not too rude 
you know there is no rudeness in him but a lot of people think if you're a gentleman that you need to be too polite you need to entertain the waiters no it's not like that you need to be sharp hi hello you know we would like this thank you and that's it you don't need to be too polite look at the royalties are they too polite with the serving staff no they are just polite a gentleman is somebody who doesn't go to extremes either to addiction or oh i will never use anything i will never ask for help i will never go rest i need i will work these are two extremes you know some people just work workaholics some people just rest you know and uh, dive into their addictions and say this is you know actually everything is nirvana and this is illusion it's not true it's all real so a gentleman is this golden middle way well he knows i'm not rude but i'm not too polite i'm not too rude i'm not too polite i'm just in the middle i'm just right i give politeness in a right amount you know i'm not too soft and i'm not too arrogant and too strong when it's needed i can be firm but i'm not hitting anybody i'm not you know going to the physical violence uh, you know or by words i'm not going to offend or curse a gentleman knows how to find this middle way a gentleman is also very kind to himself, his family, and ladies around him, and men as well. Look at the older uh, movies. Look how men were treating other men. Look how they were greeting each other. Look how they were showing the kindness. You know, the way you treat other men talks very loudly about you as a man. So make sure that if you have a brother or father make sure that your relationship are good with them because that's how you cultivate uh, manhood to be masculine to be gentleman you need to be surrounded with other gentlemen if you don't have find make sure you, you widen your circle and you find these people number two the word confidence or a confident man if you want we can even mix we can say confident gentleman then we can have both words in one. Confident gentleman, a confident man, is a male that knows his own power. Masculinity is a huge power, you know? Masculine men give their energy to the uh, feminine women and make them fly, you know? We love masculine men. It's, it's a part of a feminine uh, nature to be attracted to masculinity. So never try to preserve that. Never try to put yourself down. Opposite, you know, make yourself sit straight and be confident. Confident is in your posture. It's in your movements. They're settled, strict, you know, coordinated, focused. You know exactly why you're moving this way. Confidence is in your words. You are not like, ah, oh, excuse me, ah, oh, but you're beautiful, ah, oh, but wait, I don't know. Oh, what? No, it's not the way. If you want to approach a woman, you're confident, strict, straight, and you go and you get what you want. You know, if you are shy, no good. Because masculine men cannot be shy. Shyness is for little girls. So stop saying excuses, well, I'm shy. That's not good. If you're talking with a real feminine woman like me, they will just stop talking to you because feminine woman is never attracted to the shyness. As I mentioned, it's the quality of a little girl. That's it. Not an adult man. So if you have a limitation, you know, a lot of people have limiting beliefs that they need to be shy. But that's why uh, women will like shy men, you know, when you are not that confident. It is not true. If you look at the researches, doesn't matter which university has conducted them. They are researches that made um, were made in uh, brackets of the time. So they took the same couple and they, you know, researched them for eight, ten years, or they took couple who were just dating. They did the research for twelve, fifteen years, you know, which of course couples were changing, but the research lasted so many years. Or they just ask women, you know, what what um. um skill or what characteristic you'll find attractive in men and all these researches all these answers from women from the couples from people that were dating they mentioned the same quality over the men and that is confidence my dear women are very much attracted to confidence because confidence means you can provide you can lead you can protect you know you are this force Confidence is like an engine in a car. You can have a beautiful, beautiful car. It can be supercar, 
you know any that you love what car do you love it's a ferrari that you are dreaming of you know it's the porsche that you love whatever car it is imagine that car without an engine mm, that's not a real car then because if the car cannot drive it's not a real car the same is a man without the confidence every time when you want to be shy soft and quiet think about it i'm a car without an engine so i'm not a car if that is helpful for you i know that men sometimes like to be um, given metaphors but every time when you want to approach a woman say i'm a car i'm this super car that you imagine in your mind and you say i have the biggest engine you know the strongest engine and you just go for it and the car drives and gets to the destination the car wants so confidence is key for masculinity. If you want to be really masculine and even more, you want to attract a really beautiful, nice, uh, a feminine lady, you know, with values and who is going to follow your lead, then you need to become confident. Confident in the words you say, confident in your body language, confident how you shake hand, or maybe you will uh, give a little kiss on her hand. It's confidence too. Confident in looking in the eye, looking in the eye not like hi um mm, <laughs> oh well um mm, well uh, are you talking to me why are you looking everywhere except uh to me i need to look at me you know so i know it is a little bit intimidating sometimes when you have a truly beautiful woman but you can try to speak with me you know like now try to say something yes and maybe it will be helpful i know that i you know i can't hear you now but uh what I'm trying to say, you can pause and imagine you have this beautiful woman and you're saying something to her and she's just smiling. Mm -hmm. Yes, hi, uh, may I introduce myself? I'm uh, Edward or I'm John or what is your name? You know, I'm Matthew or I'm Luke. And you say your name and, uh, and you introduce yourself confidently. If you have a, some different, you know, um, like exotic name, you know, some Greek or, or Arabic name, say your name with confidence, you know, say whatever name you have with confidence and say, may I introduce myself and just, you know, shake hand or, or, you know, maybe a little nod, but be, be confident in your body language when you are introducing yourself because confidence in the introduction is very crucial. And it's not only in the dating scenery, it's also when you are getting um, to go to the job interview. You know, confidence is very attractive. You see, I'm not talking about arrogance. I'm talking about confidence. It's a very big difference in those. So definitely take advantage of the confidence. If you're not confident enough, practice. If you need help, I can help you. But practice confidence until you feel comfortable enough to have the dose of the conf confidence that you have to have to approach the woman, to approach the business you need, to make the phone call to reach your target, to reach your prospect, to go to the interview you want, to buy what you want, to speak with the person you desire. It is up to you. And you see, there is only one little key, confidence. It's a key that opens many doors. So what is easier? To knock the doors, try to break the doors, or to get the key and easily open it? So that's number two. And number three now, it's about becoming this ultimate um, commander. You know, this is the master. This is the surgeon. This is the captain. This is that, you know big uh, power in a man the commander is the one that commands is the one who decides things it's the one who chooses things and things are going to be the way i want that's what the masculine man says i'm not saying about you know controlling a woman this is not about relationship this is about just you and you your life and your goals so a commander is a person a masculine man who commands life to treat him the way that he wants. He commands its unwritten language, specific people to speak with him the way that he desires, the way that he de um, deserves. He never allows anybody to walk over his head. He's a commander, he's the boss. Even if he's just a sales associate in a big firm or a maybe junior lawyer, he still commands his job to be done excellently. Because every time when he's reaching excellence, his bosses can see that, oh, this is a future boss. This person deserves 
the uh, you know promotion this is a commander level it's the energy that you send when you're with a woman saying that I will take care of the situation I will take care of everything that is happening here you don't like here I'll find another way you would like to sit there let me uh, let me you know uh, put the chair closer to you so you can sit down let me open the door for you let me do this let me compliment you I'm the commander I want to be with you so I'm going to conquer you it's not a conquest that you just want to win and then go to the next one but if you're really interested in a woman you are the commander so you command things you know you settle um, the dates uh, for uh, your next date you discuss what time you call her you negotiate the time with her this is the commander that is talking he's the captain of the ship you know he's the captain of the whole um, plane he decides and people usually follow this is a strong leader skill so let's summarize to become a very masculine man of course you need to be surrounded with other masculine men but there are specific steps number one we need to uh, become gentlemen you as a man need to become a gentleman a true gentleman who knows the difference between settled polite answer and strict and strong answer also, number two, you need to build, establish, and grow within your confidence. There is nothing more attractive and never will be for women or other people in you as a man as a confidence. With confidence, it means you know where you're going, you know who you are, you know what you can give, you know what you want to take. It's a confidence when you approach a woman, it's a confidence when you go to the interviews, it's a confidence that you will get the life that you want and you do everything depending on you to reach the goal and lastly it's becoming a commander ultimate captain of your life ultimate you know um, master of your destiny where you know what you want you go for that quietly you know nicely politely and you reach your goals and you never give up until it is done I encourage you to become masculine every day to become more masculine with every minute you live and you know if you need to study if you need any training from me I'm here to help you, you can always contact me for one-to-one -one session now I just want to thank you for your attention and just remind you don't forget to smile today and enjoy your life